Hello beautiful souls, this is Poonam Kaur and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk on a juicy topic. Really? Nah, not really. As always we talk on this channel about the traumas and the healing. So in this video also, we are going to talk about certain traumas and their healings. But this time, the traumas and healings are related to men. Yes. So why do some men send their dick pics to random women yes this is going to be the topic which we are going to discuss in this video why some men send dick pics to random women what is the trauma behind this and how they can recognize this trauma and heal that trauma all of this in this video if this topic interests you then stay tuned with me in one of my recent sessions so without wasting much time let's dive deep into the topic so why some men I'm sure in your life being a woman or, or even men also you must have witnessed this uh, uh, quite a lot or quite a few times that some men are randomly sending you their nudes or the, the pictures of their genitals you know so uh, in one of my even I have faced that so you must have also faced that but we fail to understand the reason behind this why somebody is behaving in certain way <clears throat> as we need to understand that uh, men in many ways they are suppressed when it, it comes to traumas and healings it's difficult for men to open up and to understand why they are behaving in certain way right because uh, right from the beginning they are taught that they are strong they are powerful they have to behave in certain way it's their masculinity it's blah 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 stuff so all those belief system plays inside their head and they are not able to uh, follow the heart they, they are not able to dig deep inside and understand that there is something more to it why they are behaving in certain way it's not only the identity given to them by the society that that they has to be attached with they have something more to do with it so why some men do it quite often so first of all we have to understand that we are spiritual beings having this temporary human experience on this earth but sadly we believe that we are this body we are human beings and we are so much attached with this body and the identity given to us through this body by the society so we are so much attached with with our ego identity with the identity of uh, this body this body is carrying like your name your background your status and on all that stuff this these identities are attached with this body but you are far more than your body you are the light the spirit the soul residing inside this body this body is just the vessel it, it's the vessel and the actual life that light is actual you is residing inside this body so sadly the, uh, in, for our entire life if we are living unconscious life we believe that we are this body and we forget that we are the light of that source inside this body so why I'm explaining this is because when certain men they have also gone through uh, sexual traumas now what sort of traumas certain men could have been like traumatized on the uh, basis of their genitals it could include the size or it could include the performance the, the bad performance you know so it's not only women who are uh, sexualized or traumatized around their sexuality it's the men also we have to understand the, the polarities which are playing a huge part inside balancing this entire universe they carry all the pros and cons between men and women also it's not only the the one counterpart that's suffering it's the other one also and we have to be very very compassionate about each other on these issues so how this trauma plays behind what they do sometimes men they are sending such pics to random women 
to uh, even if those are not their own picks right many in many of the cases what i have seen so far uh, with my clients those picks are not even of their own genitals but they send it because they think that uh, this is what is going to prove their masculinity it's not their fault because that's what they have learned from society so far plus they had certain traumas uh, around their sexuality around their genitals they, they want to feel good about it but let me tell you one thing that you are not your genital your identity does not revolve around your genitals it's not only for men it goes for women also you are not your genitals you are not your boobs and butts you are not your your dick right you are far more than that your boobs and butts and and dicks and vaginas are part of this body you know this body cannot be whole and complete without these parts as you have your eyes your nose your lips your mouth your neck your arms you have your boobs your your butts your vagina your dick it, it, it's all the part of the body so till the time we will be uh, differentiating between our complete identity and we will be giving some special attention to certain parts of the body this difference is not going to go away so what we have to understand is that we are the complete body and these parts are also like any other part of the body as simple as that and we need to be compassionate towards each other if anybody is having any issues instead of Uh, making them feel bad on it or traumatize them on it we need to be compassionate about it there are there are ways out of every problem we have solution to any problem but sadly we focus on the problem more than the solution and that's why we keep stuck on the problems only and we get in, stuck into the vicious cycle and we are not able to get out of that so when men does this they try to satisfy their own masculinity and they they try to Uh, they relate to the trauma they they faced and they try to feel good about it but trust me you don't have to do this and when uh, with one of my client when i asked why do you do that uh, the reply was that's what women want really trust me that's not what women want not everyone at least we are far more than this body as i'm always telling we are far more than this body and women don't want that right now it's your ego identity that wants the satisfaction to be satisfied that no i'm not less so first of all you have to understand that if at any point of time somebody or anybody made you feel bad or less uh, about your sexuality or maybe you had been molested not only women are molested or raped men are also molested and raped at a certain point of time in in life so if that happened to you you have to understand that that trauma is still playing with you around your genitals you are not your genitals you are something far more than that so you don't have to be associated uh, with your genitals right dig deeper know who you truly are know your powers know what all you can do and for some time disassociate your identity from this body you are far more than that and when you understand what all traumas are playing into your life you just have to heal them there are many healing techniques you can heal the traumas around your sexuality right there are many techniques i'll make another video on uh, all those techniques you can use to heal your traumas around your sexuality but the, the the biggest technique is to clear those limiting beliefs from your head that you your worth is in your genitals and you are worthy only when you are good in bed or only when you are able to go around with more women that's not what you are as i always tell we are gods and goddesses inside this body in sleeping mode right so wake up gods and goddesses doesn't do it that way we are duped into wrong thinking and wrong belief system know yourself know your traumas and then heal them and then reach and step into your god powers you know if you want to know more about uh, what all sexual traumas men face and how to heal them just do let me know in the comment section below i would love to uh, get back to you with the answers i hope this video will 
clear many of your doubts and it will help uh, clear many doubts of men and women why men behave such in such way and why in certain cases women also behave such way they sh they send their nude because they think that this body uh, would decide their worth no we are far more than this body we have to understand this and only then we'll be able to heal whatever is playing behind each and every action of us i'll see you next time till then stay happy stay healthy stay fit and stay in high vibes and if you still have any question queries doubt do let me know in the comment section below i would get back to you with the remedies so i'll see you next time till then stay happy stay healthy stay fit and stay in high vibes and remember the sky is to fly namaste